Okay, now we're going to use an existing data set, not one that we're going to type the data in for, and we're going to compute confidence intervals for the mean and for a one sample dichotomous outcome. So first, you need to start with the lib name statement. Lib name is going to give you the library where the data are stored. In this case, I called it my data. Yours needs to look exactly like this for the National University COH 602 class. So this is our class directory. It says access equals read only. So have a lib name statement that looks exactly like that. That will reference the library or directory where your data are stored. Now the first thing we're going to do, you don't need comments, but it's helpful to remind yourself what you were doing. We're going to compute confidence intervals for the mean. All we need to do, proc means data equals my data, remember that's the library where the data is stored, dot old, the data set name is old. Alpha, not much of a typist, alpha equals 0 0.05, that's going to give us the 95% confidence limits. So alpha equals 0 0.05, CLM for confidence limits, mean, I want the mean, and STD, I want the standard deviation. Semicolon, to end the statement, bar, what variables do I want it for? Well, in this case, I just want this one age COMP, which was the age at the beginning of the study. Semicolon, type of run, and this, is going to give me the confidence limits for the mean. So the mean is 75.94, and the lower confidence limit is 75.78, upper is 76.1. So the confidence limits are from 75.8 about to 76.1. And that's it. Take a look at the code again. Proc means data equals your data set name, alpha equals 0.05, CLM, confidence limit, mean, standard deviation, the variable. And that will give you, once you run it, the confidence limits for the mean as well as the mean and standard deviation themselves.